We've taken a look at a lot of awesome Chromebooks this past year, but there has been one that has been with me every day that we've never gotten around to sharing with you. And while Chromebooks have gotten prettier and more specced up than ever, especially in price, this Chromebook is still the best package out there. I'm Lita from Sipnotech, and this is my almost a year late review of the ASUS Chromebook C302 and why it is still the Chromebook to beat for the masses. My very first Chromebook was the original ASUS Flip, and it was love at first use. I love the simplicity of Chrome OS while enjoying the flip aspect of being able to turn it into a reading tablet when I wanted to as well. Nevertheless, I did have my own nitpicking issues with it, but for the $250 price tag it launched with, it was well worth it. This time around, ASUS released an absolutely refined masterpiece. The C302 is heavier in size and appearance and also significantly better in all aspects. And while this technically was the follow-up to the original flip, as Alex reviewed early this year, the C101PA is the true successor to that line. What we have here is a totally superior older brother of sorts. The touchscreen on this Chromebook is responsive and fits into a 12.5 inch frame with a resolution of 1920 by 1080p. I found the display to be very vibrant with excellent pixel density. The keyboard traction is clicky and the layout is spaced out well enough for a terrific typing experience. The trackpad has plenty of space to move around with your fingers and nothing feels too cramped. On a regular basis, I'm able to type on the Chromebook very comfortably using Google Docs and editing in Google Sheets. One of my favorite aspects of the previous Chromebook Flip was being able to use it as a comfortable reading device in bed. I'm a little clumsier with this one, considering its larger size and heavier weight, but it's still usable nonetheless. It can function as a browsing tablet, but it honestly isn't meant to operate as one, no matter how much these OEMs want to use it as a selling point. On the sides of the flip, you'll find a power button, volume rocker, microphone slot, micro SD slot, and two USB-C ports. I like the dispersion of ports and feel it helps with the ergonomics of your daily usage. Since the Chromebook charges via USB-C, this makes it very convenient to carry around with any other modern devices you may have that use USB-C as well. There are also small speakers on each side of the bottom edges. The speakers themselves are just average, but loud enough if you're just looking to play some music or watch videos. I've also tested the webcam out a few times on here, but it's, it's not fantastic, but does the job. On the inside of the Chromebook, you'll find the Intel Core M3 chip as a processor for the base model. While I don't usually run anything intensive on Chrome OS to begin with, I have yet to stumble across any lag or stuttering with the Chromebook. Even with multiple apps running, it continues to run smoothly. I've downloaded multiple apps on the Google Play Store and have yet to experience huge skips, even when playing more intensive games. As with what we've seen on other Chromebooks, Intel Core M processors aren't the most optimal for Android, but it sure helps to pack a punch for everything else on Chrome OS. One of the biggest downsides though to the Chromebook is battery life. If I'm just browsing the internet, even on a lower screen brightness, I get about six hours of battery life. While that's about average for most laptops, I would have wished for slightly better battery, especially before, because I use my Chromebook for more day-to-day -day leisure activities as opposed to work intensive usage. I've had to charge this at airports while traveling more than I'd like to, especially when put up against other laptops and two-in-ones we've tested. Still, for $450, I'm a huge fan of the screen and the excellent overall build quality. The premium feel combined with the charming simplicity of Chrome OS really gives it a stunning experience. And even with all of the new competition hitting the market with higher price points, the C302 still offers the best premium Chrome OS experience at a respectable price. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!